fifth dimension, beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. I don't see anything. Something glittered. We're past it now. Well, we went over a lake, you know. I know, sir. It wasn't that. Okay, we'll have a look. It was probably the lake. spaceship E-89. Three men who have just reached a place which is as far from home as they will ever be. Three men who in a matter of minutes will be plunged into the darkest nightmare reaches of the Twilight Zone. Looks like one of our ships, doesn't it? Don't jump to conclusions. It is one of our ships. How could it get this far off course? Try the auxiliary light system. Oh, baby, is it you? What's wrong, Dad? <laughs> nothing, I need nothing. Was that your mother you were calling to just now? Was it, honey? Yes, Daddy. You know. Ted! Well, you startled me bursting out of the bushes like that. <laughs> oh, Ruth. Sweetheart, what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing now. circumnavigating time that was just a theory captain oh, no it's not a theory because that's what's happened to us we've gone into some kind of time warp right into the future and that ship standing out there is in the future is that what you're saying no no only the probable future what does that mean if we don't go up we can't crash now it's the only answer it's easy enough for you to decide captain now what does that mean you've got no one waiting for you back on earth i made my decision I was wrong. It has nothing to do with circumnavigating time. Remember what you thought before you saw that ship over there? Alien contact, that's what you thought. Well, that's exactly what's happened to us. That is not our ship, those are not our bodies. We've been tricked. By who? By whoever it is that lives on this planet and doesn't want anyone else to live here. We haven't been able to see them, but there are aliens here. How can they keep their planet from being colonized? By mind control. Trying to prove it isn't there, Paul. Going up, all the way back to Earth, proving there's nothing keeping us here but deluded fear.
up fighting it, Captain. You're all out of explanations. There's only one left, and you know it. No, no. Accept it, Captain. No. We're dead, Paul. Let us die. We're going to go over it again, do you hear? We're going to go over it again. Captain. Something did it down there. I don't see anything. Picture of a man who will not see anything he does not choose to see, including his own death. A man with such indomitable will that even the two men beneath his command are not allowed to see the truth. Which truth is that they are no longer among the living. Picture of a latter-day flying Dutchman sailing into the twilight zone.